Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood. You are watching The Political Vigilante. Live shows, tour dates, all that are at GrahamElwood.com. And of course, support the Patreon.com, guys. I need your support. I'm going to stop using my Amazon affiliate link because I realize it's kind of hypocritical. I'm very critical of Amazon and yet I'm making a profit from it. So I'm going to get rid of that. It's not a huge revenue stream for me, but it is a revenue stream. So I'm not going to use that anymore. So help me out. Could use a little, a little love on the Patreon. So please go to patreon.com. You get bonus content, early access to the podcast, a lot of cool stuff. So go there and support the show. So I want to talk about there was a, uh, this was actually in the New York Times. This was an op-ed piece in the New York Times by David Adler saying that centrists are the most hostile to democracy, not extremists. This came out May 23rd, 2018 in the New York Times. It's very fascinating what David Adler does. He goes through some studies and uh, it's a very in-depth article. And again, I'm going to put it in the show notes. Please read through it. But I'm going to sort of boil it down to what he shows in some very simple graphs and stuff like that. But it's the thing we talk about a lot on this show. Centrists, this study, are even worse than right-wingers. <laughs> it's another reason why we need to stay solid in our left-wing beliefs. We don't have to agree on every little thing on the left, but the basic stuff of eliminating war, free college tuition, free health care, protect the environment, a Green New Deal, these basic tenets we need to not acquiesce to because when we acquiesce, when we give in to the center, we do this neoliberal, well, I don't want to, let's not be purists. Uh, no. Here's what David Adler comes up with. My research suggests that across Europe and North America, centrists are the least supportive of democracy. <laughs> you heard that right. The least committed to its institutions and the most supportive of authoritarianism. This is what Chris Hedges warns about in Death of the Liberal Class. These liberal institutions that have for, for long time throughout history have protected the masses against the powerful trying to abuse their power. When we let centrists take over and, well, we got to play nice on both sides, this is what happens. This is what happens. David Adler saying this in the New York Times, which I find pretty amazing that the New York Times, every once in a while, about 20% of what they do over there, there's like, oh, wow, hey, actually someone's not being a puppet for the corporate machine. Centrists are the least likely to support free and fair elections. Look at this. Germany, Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, Spain, the United States, and the Netherlands. Look at this. These are the centrists. They're the least likely. Percentage of people who say that choosing a leader in a free election is an essential feature of democracy. Look at that. Centrists, least likely to support liberal institutions. Again, if you have not read Death of the Liberal Class, read it. It is essential reading if you're going to watch this show. <laughs> it is essential reading if you're going to be a progressive, if you're going to wake up. It is essential reading. There's other books that you may think are essential. Please let me know because I like reading new stuff. This is what they do. Right? Percentage of Americans who support strongman leaders. The far left, 16%. The far right, 28%. Centrists, 40% of them support strongman leaders. That is insane. That is insane. Is it though? When you think about it, when you, these neoliberals are like, oh boy, remember the good old days of George W. Bush? The centrists, he was nice and polite. He didn't write awful things on Twitter. He didn't try to grab anybody's pussy, but he did commit war crimes and kill millions of people. Created an illegal war with the lies about weapons of mass destruction, but he's nice and polite. He's got things done. I remember listening to liberal friends of mine say, well, I, I, you know, I don't want the president to be too smart. Oh, this is why we have Trump, by the way. Because the DNC cheated an actual person from the left, a progressive, ran no populist policy, 
and just said the right is all dumb Nazis, and some of them are, <laughs> but let's run into this. This is, this is oh, you know, uh, single payer healthcare and free college, degrees, those are ponies. That's pie in the sky. Oh, this is why we got Trump right there. There's Trump right up there. That's, notice how this is orange? That's his filthy orange rapey skin. I watched the movie Black Klansman, which I highly recommend watching. And it's a very powerful film. And Spike Lee's a very good filmmaker. At the end of the movie, I was like even more mad at the Democrats. They let this happen. They're centrist, bullshit, the way they smear progressives. Anytime any, any progressive gets some traction, Tulsi Gabbard, she came out last year, I'm not taking any more corporate money. Who smeared her? Was it Fox News? No, no. It was neoliberals. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has had to take a lot of crap from Fox News. And wait a minute now. A lot of centrist asshole Democrats have gone after her because her socialism will only work in the Bronx and won't work in the middle of the country. A Democrat said that. Strongmen in the developing world have historically found support in the center. From Brazil and Argentina to Singapore, Indonesia, middle-class moderates have encouraged authoritarian transitions to bring stability and deliver growth. Could the same thing happen in mature democracies like Britain, France, and the United States? We're already seeing it happen. Brexit. Look what they're doing to Jeremy Corbyn on the left, a progressive. Look what they're doing. So this is why, guys, we have to support progressives and populist policy and politicians. And don't lose hope because Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez gave us hope. Kenneth Mejia running in the general election, a green running against a corporate Democrat. He beat the, the Republican in a top two election. Fight at every corner, right? Fight for open primaries, fight for ranked choice voting. Don't support them financially. Vote with your dollars, which is why, as I said at the top of the show, I'm getting rid of my Amazon affiliate link. You will not see it in the show notes below. I will not take any more money from Amazon. I'll shut that link down. Help me out, support the show, and thank you for making Gotham great again.